Okay, here we're going to look at the valence shell electron pair repulsion theory, or VESPER, which I know is a mouthful, but we can kind of break it apart and understand at least the pieces. Valence shell electron, those are the electrons in the outermost shell, pairs to repulsion theory. So because electrons have negative charges, two negative charges want to repel one another, so this is kind of taking on the particular shape that we're going to see. And for the purpose of this video lecture, we're looking at, can you identify certain shapes of molecules? So the valence shell electron pair repulsion theory, or VESPER, assumes that a molecule will form a structure that will minimize the repulsion between valence electrons. It's also known as the AXE notation, A standing for the central atom, X for the terminal atoms, E for the free electron pairs. And what we try to depict here is when there's a line that's in the same plane, when we see the black kind of triangle that is kind of like coming towards us, and when we see the dots that's going away from us here. Another YouTube video, if you want to check it out, I hear it from a different perspective, you're willing to check that one out also. So getting into it, why is this important? Why do we need to understand shape? Well, molecular shape and function are very important. A molecule shape is very important to its function. Biological molecules recognize and interact with each other with, spe with specificity based on the molecular shape. Molecules with similar shapes can have similar biological effects. And just, I did the example here of hemoglobin and chlorophyll. If you kind of look at them quick, they look very similar. Again, hemoglobin is going to be in red blood cells, chlorophyll in plants. When we study uh, bones, how they kind of have a lot of similar uh, shape and function here. We see the human, versus the dog, the bird, and the whale, how these particular bones uh, may have similar functions for us. So the five basic structures, and we'll get into them in detail. I presented them here. One's linear, trigonal planar, tetrahedral, uh, trigonal bipyramid, and octahedron. So let's get into it here. Starting with the most basic, a linear molecule. A linear molecule has bonding orbitals 180 degrees apart, producing a molecule of linear geometry. So if I gave you a picture of this, could you identify this as a linear molecule is what I'd be looking for. This example is just carbon dioxide, CO2. Another example here, trigonal planar. So one atom at the central, at the center, and three atoms at the corners of an equilateral triangle. So I want you to understand for this one, trigonal planar. There's three here forming a triangle all on the same plane. It's all on the same plane there. So it's trigonal, there's three of them, and they're all on the same plane. So that is a way you can easily identify and recognize a molecule of this shape. Boron tetrafluoride is an example. I'm more concerned that you can recognize the shape and identify it. <clears throat> Moving on, tetrahedral. So a tetrahedral molecular geometry is a central atom located center with four substituents that are located at the corners of the tetrahedron. So this tetrahedral, tetra meaning four. Well, if we count them, one, two, three, four. There's four here binding. Xenon tetraoxide here. So this is an example of a tetrahedral molecule. Moving on, trigonal bipyramid. So trigonal bipyramid has an, one atom at the center and five or more atoms at the corners of the trigonal dipyramid. <clears throat> so this one gets a little confusing. Trigonal, if we remember trigonal planar, here's our three in the same plane. Bipyramid, this forms a pyramid, that can be pyramid one, and then this forms a pyramid, that can be pyramid two. So there's our two pyramids, and here's our trigonal planar area here. So the proper term for this molecule, phosphorus pentafluoride, trigonal bipyramid. The last one here, octahedral. So an octahedral molecular geometry describes the shapes of components with six atoms or groups of an atom or ligands symmetrically arranged around a central atom defining the vertices of an octahedron. What the heck does that mean? Well, let's break that down as an easy way to recognize it. Sulfur hexafluoride is an example. Octahedral. Look, there's one, two, three, four, five, there's six uh, binding points. The only one with six um, points here, and that would be an octahedral molecule. So again, for purposes of this, I just want you to identify the shape with the name and not go any further. Uh, if you get into chemistry, you'll get into this in more detail. But for right now, if I show you a shape of a molecule, can you properly describe it? 